Just right past me, guys, on the left. Watch out, Glenda, here we come. <laughs> Well, hey, look, we've um, a lot more people should be on the on the roads. I mean, we're lucky in that we've got a really flat terrain, and um, we've also got uh, great weather for most of the time. So and where did you cycle from this morning? I now? cycled from Machen's Beach this morning, and um, yeah, picked up some people on the way. But we've had we estimate probably about 500 people have turned up here today. We ran out of food in uh, breakfast. That's tremendous. And uh, Councillor Day, uh, how did you go today? Oh, look, great. I'm. I'm, I'm any, any opportunity to get on the bike and have a bit of a ride, but as uh, Belle said, it's, it's flat terrain, oh and so it's really great to ride around here. But look at the weather, it's just beautiful. And I was a little scared, I have to say, because I rode along Spence Street where there are no bike, proper bike lanes, and so I'm looking forward to uh, having a proper bike track so that uh, I can feel safe riding. And I'll probably ride more if I, if, when that happens. And Curtis, tell me why, why you, where you came from today and why you uh, decided to cycle into Cairns. Well, I rode from Gordonvale to, uh, to the Esplanade today, and uh, which is not uh, too much of a ride, it's about 25 kilometres, so uh, for any mad keen cyclist it's, uh, it's a walk in the park. Um, I didn't see, unfortunately, enough people riding with me uh, this morning, and, uh, which is uh, a shame. I'm hoping most of them came to have breakfast early. Um, there were some very dicey uh, moments as I rode along, but uh, in general the shoulders of the roads were pretty good and uh, uh, people were pretty uh, well mannered and well behaved, um, giving me a few honks and waves. Um, I got the usual uh, single finger salute um, from several people. I don't think it's because I'm a politician, I just think it's because I'm a cyclist. <laughs> and would you be advocating for a, a cycle track all the way from the south side of Cairns into the city? I certainly would. The state government's partnering with the uh, Cairns Regional Council on the uh, $6 million uh, area going to Cairns uh, cycleway, so we'd like to see that at some stage uh, duplicated so that the uh, people in the uh, southern approach to Cairns are able to uh, access um, you know, a dedicated cycle lane uh, which is going to allow them to uh, transit in uh, the safest way possible. I've come from Whitfield and uh, it took me about 25 minutes to get here. It's a lovely ride through the Botanic Gardens and along by the Esplanade and we should be doing more of it. Um, particularly where you've got the opportunity with adequate bike paths and I'm fortunate to live in the edge of Whitfield area where you can actually do that. It's tough for those people who live out in places like White Rock and Gordondale where it's far, far harder for people to come in on proper bicycle tracks. So basically we've got to build more bicycle tracks and encourage people to cycle more. Kirsten, tell me why we should get into more of cycling in Cairns. Look, I think it really is the, the golden bullet. You can reduce, reduce obesity, reduce traffic congestion, save money on fuel. Um, shit. Good morning, Kiss, and tell me why, why we should do more cycling in Cairns. Look, I think it really is the golden bullet. It reduces obesity, reduces your greenhouse gas emissions, reduces traffic congestion, and saves you money on fuel. So why wouldn't you? Lovely. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, um, lives in Brisbane, and I think Brisbane is an inspiration because they have really, really increased the number of cyclists used, and they've got pathways you can go like 30, 40 kilometres from outer suburbs all the way into the centre of the city. I think they got that thing, you know, where um, you can ride the bike for um, like just a couple of streets and they have them tied up there. Yep. So the council is actually working with getting the people into the city and then using their bike within the city to, to commute around the city. So I think that's terrific. And yeah, just clogging, I mean, coming from Gordonvale, it's horrendous, the traffic. And if we could, you know, reduce that some way and have a park that would bring people in there. Or the train, the light train, get your bike on the train and come into the Circle um, City that way. Great.